It may be Audi's first entry in the F segment but the e-tron SUV makes such a strong debut that it feels like Ingolstadt has been dabbling in this class for years. Welcome to the world of instant F performance which in this case came courtesy of the new Audi e-tron SUV. After several hours driving from Abu Dhabi, a run-up was in order before our lunch stop and with no temp gauge or tarcho to monitor, endless torque, power delivered to every wheel and a center of gravity as low as most serious sports cars, this 2.5-ton family wagon sailed up the mountain like it wasn't there. The e-tron SUV is Audi's first entry into all-electric mobility and it's a sign of things to come with the company boasting that a third of its cars will be EVs by 2025. The all-wheel drive e-tron uses two asynchronous motors, one each at the front and rear axles to deliver 355 brake horsepower and 561 newton meters of torque for a 200 km per hour top speed and 0 to 100 km per hour in 6.5 seconds. Select boost mode and for 8 seconds you get 402 brake horsepower and 660 newton meters which cuts the 100 km per hour dash to 5.7 seconds. The water-cooled, lithium-ion 95 kWh battery weighs 700 kg and it's a good thing much of its weight is so low as it doesn't affect the car's cornering ability but there's no escaping the fact that this is a heavy car. With no engine under the hood, 60 liters of space has been liberated for the storage of the charging cables and ancillary items up front while down the back there's 600 liters of cargo space and it has a towing capacity of 1,800 kg. A single stage transmission sends nearly all power to the rear wheels unless it's at full tilt, then it's a 50 to 50 split. Yet possibly the biggest thing about the e-tron is how normal it felt. Unlike the hype surrounding the Tesla and Jaguar's radical design departure at the rear signaling a new era for the big cat, the e-tron easily slips into the Q range between the Q5 and Q7 in look and feel. At first, the transmission lever looks normal until you find it's a fixed unit to be used as a palm rest while underneath is a slide button that you thumb forward for reverse, back for drive along with a separate button for park. It's intuitive if you've used modern auto gear selectors and feels instantly familiar. What takes more time to acclimatize to however is the lack of door mirrors with cameras in the place. Reported to add 2.5 kms range thanks to the reduced drag, the small screens are mounted in the doors and it's hard to break an adult lifetime's habit of not checking the mirrors where the mirrors have always been. They work fine, though lack distance perspective but I would be reluctant to tick the €1,500 option for them in Europe. These however were the only anomalies you'll find that differentiates e-tron from a regular Audi as it uses the same virtual cockpit LCD screens with the 10.1 inches unit above the 8.8 .8 inches screen with haptic touch feedback, quad zone climate control air and four USB ports front and rear. Audi quotes the WLTP official test cycle figures that claim it gets 400 kilometers from a full charge but as is often the case in the real world, we couldn't achieve this on our drive. Our car showed 367 kilometers in the morning and finished at the lunch stop with 70 kilometers after covering around 230 kilometers. We can vouch for the car's top speed on a closed section of road before plowing through some sand-covered gravel tracks and cruising at 140 km per hour for most of the day before the blast up Jebel Hafeet in sport mode. So no complaints here about range. Audi claims you can regain 30% back through coasting and regenerative braking which we tried on the return run, coasting then pressing the brake pedal and using what was previously the downshift paddle on the steering wheel for an aggressive regen which will bring the car to a complete stop from 130 km per hour if needed. At the bottom we had recouped 11 km which equated to 3.2 kWh of free fuel. A leisurely 90-minute stop for lunch and a recharge and it was back to a 369 km range for the home run. For home charging you will need a specially installed 3-phase 11 kW wall box from Dewa which will fully charge the car in 8.5 hours while plugging it into a regular AC slot at home could take up to several days as it's restricted to 2.3 kW or 3.6 kW. Audi is promoting the use of Dewa fast chargers that are rolling out across the UAE and will give an 80% top-up in 15 minutes.
Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Subscribe to Auto TV.